All right, here we go, a continuation of rewriting to do basic derivatives. Oh, yeah, I had that up there for a reason. What does this mean? You all know, right, by now, because you watched the other videos and maybe came to class too? Coefficient, variable, exponent, that's the way to write it to take the derivative. Here we go. Okay, let's find this derivative first. Let me zoom in just a teeny bit and do that. Okay, so we've got 6 root x plus 4. What's the power on that next one? 2, and the root is 3, right? Okay, let's just get to the rewriting. Okay, so I'm sticking with black because I'm not taking the derivative yet, right? And I'm just writing rewrite because we're not doing anything yet. So I'm still just with the original function. f of x equals our coefficient here for coefficient variable exponent. I've got to write it all over the place. This is like what makes people pass this class. Um, coefficient variable exponent. A coefficient is 6. Our variable is x, which it frequently is. And this, a lot of you like these invisible powers and root, oops, nope, right? Powers and roots for the square root. Power of 1, root of 2. So 6x to the 1 half plus coefficient 4, variable x, power 2, root 3. Plus, this one some people get freaked out about, but the coefficient is just the number part. The number part, or numeric part, is the 1, which isn't actually necessary, except it needed to be there when it was a fraction, because it needed to hold the x squared in the denominator. So, x squared's in the denominator. Our variable is x, and our exponent is squared, but where is it? It's in the denominator, yes. Okay, so that makes it be negative. x to the negative 2, minus 3 is our coefficient, x is our variable, some people like an invisible 1 to be there. Okay, and then plus 7, because we are just rewriting, so nothing goes away yet. I'm going to do this one a little bit more efficiently than I did the last one. We go ahead, we rewrote as coefficient variable exponent. Now we're going to derive, derive. So now you're going to write derive. So first you write your function, then you write your rewrite, then you write your derivative in the ugliest form, um, f prime of x. The bare minimum is you've got to change this to an f prime, and that had to still be an f of x to communicate what you're talking about. So now we're talking about the derivative using the shortcut rules. We bring down our exponent, 1 half. We multiply by our coefficient, 6. We keep our variable, and then we lower our exponent by 1. Since it's halves, we need a common denominator, so we're going to subtract 2 halves from it. And then we've got plus. We bring down our exponent, 2 thirds, multiply by our coefficient, which a lot of people like to do it like this. You can do that. We could have done that with our 6, except it doesn't quite line up with our 1 half now. Just to remind you how to multiply fractions, since you've used calculators so long, most likely. We've got x to the 2 thirds. And here again, we need to subtract 1, but this time the denominator is 3, so we're going to subtract 3 thirds. Okay, then we've got a plus. Our coefficient this time is a negative 2, so we're going to have a negative 2 times, oh, I'm sorry, our coefficient, that's not a coefficient, our exponent was a negative 2. We bring it down in front of our coefficient of 1, x to the minus 2 minus 1. And then for here, partly because I'm running out of paper and partly because I just want you to be able to look at this guy right here, negative 3x plus 7 right there. What is that? That's a linear equation with slope negative 3. So its derivative is negative 3 because its slope is negative 3 everywhere. No thinking. If you like the way I did it in the last video, feel free to do that. You won't get points off in my class. But go ahead and just get to that negative 3. Now this is all pretty sketchy and ugly, so we're going to write it prettier, and then we're going to put a box on it, because our professor doesn't like to look for answers. Half of 6 is usually 3. x to the 1 half minus 2 halves is negative 1 half, plus 2 thirds of 4 is just 8 thirds. 8 thirds 
x to the two-thirds minus three-thirds gives you negative one-third. Oh, no, no, it's not going to be a plus, and I need white out. Ooh, I got white out. Here we go. White out's happening. Bloop. That's pretty gross white out, isn't it? Okay, minus, right, minus 2x to the negative 3. Some of the most common places that people make mistakes is here with the negative exponents. When they subtract, they end up adding, and that's why I like to go ahead and write that out. And then the minus 3 doesn't need any kind of new rewriting to make it look prettier. So this can right here be... Ooh, my pen's dying. Our answer to our derivative, or you can be written, this is exponential or CVE form, CVE slash exponential form. Sometimes in the back of the book, it will be written in radical form. So this would be 3. x to the negative 1 half means x is in the denominator and square rooted, plus 8 thirds. Where's x this time? Numerator? Denominator? Denominator. So let's bring this out. x to the negative. Negative is dealt with. One third. So we need our radical house. And then we need a little three right here. Right next to the other three. Can you even see that? I wonder if you guys are full screen. YouTube goes full screen, so you should be able to be full screen. I'm still going to zoom in a little bit and keep the original problem there. Okay, so blah blah blah, then minus 2x to the negative 3. 2 is a coefficient and we can either write it as 2 and then 1 over x cubed, but I like more efficiently to write it this 2 and then x cubed minus 3. Okay, but in general I actually really like this format, this is fine. I just want to make sure you can tell that this and that are the same thing so when you're checking your answers in the back of the book you're good to go. Okay, I have a problem for you to do and bring to class next time you come. Are you ready? Good. Okay, here's the your turn problem. Your turn. Bring this to class next time. Turn it in when you're coming in. And please rewrite. Whoops, wrong way. Rewrite using coefficients, variables, and exponents instead of this radical stuff and negative exponents or denominators. Okay, so bring this to class next time. Put your name way up here in the top right. Do this. Make sure you write after this. Your rewrite. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Rewrite f of x, blah, 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 blah. And then, if you feel fancy, go ahead and get a blue pen and do your derivative f prime of x. Show all your steps on this one so that I can see if you're making any errors where you're making them. Alright, I'll see you next class. Thanks for watching. Bye!